Hello everybody, welcome to the biology role model assignment done by yours truly, Josh Prohl. Today you will be learning a little bit more about Dr. Harris of Harris Labs. He originally got involved in science back in his primary schooling years in Canada, actually. He had always really enjoyed his science and math classes, and the ultimate decision to pursue a career in science came down to a single aptitude test. He took that test and the results came back saying he should pursue either architecture or genetics. He really considered both options, but at the end of the day realized they're actually very similar things. They're both kind of exploring building blocks and creating structure that functions properly. But Dr. Harris was more intrigued by the challenge that genetics offered because it was invisible and we couldn't see it. And so he chased the sciences. His chase eventually led him to the University of Alberta, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in 1993 and a Ph.D. in genetics in 1997. Dr. Harris's favorite hobby is actually the sport of curling. He both loves playing as well as coaching the game. He's been a curler for many years and has actually also been a coach to a successful junior men's team who has made four national appearances and even a world championship. There are a couple things that I admire most about Dr. Harris, but the foremost is his personality. He's capable of seeing the end goal at all times and isn't afraid to push things along in order to succeed in that goal. He's highly efficient and will always shoot you straight. You don't ever have to wonder if what he said is exactly what he meant, because it always is. And I find that to be one of the greatest traits that a leader could have, because it leaves no room for miscommunication amongst team members. Everyone knows exactly where they need to be and what they need to be doing at any given moment. I really strive to model myself after his ability to manage so many people and ideas as well as he does. The most recent paper produced by Harris Labs was written by Adam Cheng and published in Nature, a science journal. He was studying Epstein-Barr virus, a specific strain of herpes responsible for causing mono. He found a viral ribonucleotide reductase called BORF2, responsible for protecting the herpes virus from being mutated. It specifically binds an enzyme called apobec 3 b which is responsible for the mutations commonly seen in HIV and breast cancer. His work highlights the two main goals of the lab involving antiviral immunity and cancer mutagenesis. Adam's work shows viruses already have a novel way of binding and deactivating ABEC 3B, and hopefully with more research this could be applied to humans. Harris Labs has uncovered a great deal of new and amazing work, but one of their current goals is to develop a mouse model capable of overexpressing the Apebec family. This mouse model could be used to test therapies that eventually down the road would treat humans. And this treatment would allow us to kind of get a handle and a grip on both potentially HIV and breast cancer. And that's just a small part, a small glimpse of the future of breast cancer research.